What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Mel DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to get my favorite plays. We got a six game main slate. Hope everybody's having a great day. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. Let's get to these plays. Going to my point guard spot. We got Luka Doncic going against the Lakers. 12,800 on DraftKings. 12,200 on FanDuel. Been balling against LA squad. Had 72 face points against the Clippers last game. And now he's in a favorable matchup against the Lakers. That allows an average 40 face points to the position. He is averaging 73 face points in the past five away games. Averaging 38 points, 42% in usage a game in the last five. So gotta go here with Doncic at the point guard spot. Gonna pay up. Now we wanna pivot. We do have Russell Westbrook, 85 on both platforms. They are depleted in their guards where you don't have Beverly, Reeves, Walker are all out. Averaging 44.7 fames points in the past five home games. Like the spot for Russ if you want to pay down. To our next play, go to our shooting guards. We do got OG Ananobi going against Charlotte. He's 66 on DraftKings, 69 on FanDuel. He has a consistent floor. Averaging 33.6 fames points in the past five games. Against Charlotte, allows an average 31 fames points in the position. He did have 30 fames point game last time he faced Charlotte at home this season so back here for OG and a good spot for today another play to look at would be Pat Connaughton going against Miami he's 37 on DraftKings like the DraftKings price tag Allen and Middleton are out so that's helping usage he's averaging 24 face points in the past five away games Miami allows an average 33 face points to the position I think it's a great value for his price point at 3700 on DraftKings go to our next play going to our small forwards I do like Gary Trent Jr. going against Charlotte. He's 62 on DraftKings, 72 on FanDuel. He also has a consistent floor. He's averaging 38.7 in the past five home games. Charlotte's allowing average 29 fans points to the position. But he did have 35 fans point game last time he faced Charlotte this season. But back here for Gary Trent Jr. for his price point. Another play is Tim Hardaway Jr. He is a boomer bust, but it's in a great matchup and overall a great price tag on both platforms. 58 on DraftKings. 52 on FanDuel. Going against the Lakers, like I said, they depleted in the guards to where he should have a good matchup here. He's averaging 25 in the last five games, but the Lakers allow an average 30 face points to the position. He did have 38 face point game last time he faced the Lakers. So definitely a boomer bust, but he's in a potential upside spot for today. Let's go to our next play, going to our power forwards. Ben Simmons going against Boston. He's 54 on DraftKings. I think that's too cheap. 68 on FanDuel, but without KD, great spot for upside. He's averaging 28.5 in the past five home games. And against Boston, allows an average 31 phase points to the position. Do like Ben Simmons in a good spot against Boston for today. Go to our last play, going to our centers. Mason Pumley back here. He's 62 on DraftKings. He has 7,000 on FanDuel. But he's been consistent, averaging 38 phase points in the past five games. Going against Toronto allows an average 36 to the position. You do got Nicholas Claxton against Boston, 6,000. Who has done well. He had 34 in the last two games against Boston. So Claxton's also a great play to consider at the center spot. So these are my favorite plays. Like the plays, give a thumbs up. Any questions, comment below. Use the draft dashboard tools in the link in my description. Want to sign up? It is a dollar up to 30 days. When you sign up, ask the NBA cheat sheet, sleeper singer studs. Click on the watch players. You get my plays up top for watch Mel's DFS picks. Be the DraftKings or Fandle. So I love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mel DFS and y'all stay blessed. And I see y'all in the next video.